The National Weather Service damage assessments are ongoing, but right now it appears it was an EF0 tornado that hit in Otaga County near the Prattville Country Club. Anchor Rosanna Smith spoke with residents today and has the latest. Here in Prattville's Hunting Ridge neighborhood, crews are hard at work to clear streets blocked by down power lines and trees. This is just one sign of when Mother Nature left behind following overnight severe weather. I just heard trees falling and I grabbed the dogs and went into the middle bathroom to our safe place. Two big oak trees in Send Up Fickert's backyard were uprooted. Fickert says she is grateful to be alive. When you look around at how much worse this could have been and it just, it's so, so thankful. So, so grateful for friends, thankful for the way the trees fell. I mean, missing the car, missing the majority of the house. This morning, Fickert, with the help of some friends, began the process of clearing debris. It was the same for other residents in the area who sustained damage to their properties. It looks like we had roof damage. Uh, got a shed over here. It pushed off its foundation. All my fences down. Prattville resident Russell Carruth realizes things could have turned out much different. And you know, God's good. We can replace everything that we got and fix it and get it back to normal. There's a lot of property damage, but there's no signs of injury right now. So that's that is a silver lining. Mayor Bill Gillespie says they're still assessing the damage here in Prattville, but he is very pleased with how the city has responded. I'm very proud how I'm seeing the neighbors are helping neighbors. I just show how tight knit of a community we really are. And we'll be back to Prattville Strong as soon as possible. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News, Prattville. And Mayor Gillespie is urging people who do not live in the area affected to stay away, no sightseeing, so that crews can continue to work.